Hi everybody, it's Dara, and I came to the beach to get some grounding from the earth. It's been a while since I've done this beach walk and a beach talk, and I feel that it's a really important reminder for all of us, whether you're, you know, in the snow. <laughs> I don't know, getting barefoot in the snow might be crazy, but I don't know, feeling the earth under your feet barefoot is so important. And I think we lose sight of that. I mean, we're just in our shoes and some people in our heels. And I think getting the energy from the earth is essential. So if you're in the cold, just take off your shoes and, you know, be inside and be barefoot and just lie yourself down on your floor and know that the earth is beneath, beneath you and get that grounding energy. And so today, obviously, I'm lucky to be able to come to the beach. The weather's been warm and beautiful. It's been nurturing and full of vitamin D, so I'm getting outside whenever I can. I am just, today I've had green juice and clementines, and tomorrow I'm actually going to see Clementine to get some fruit from her and Barry from Corral's Farm, so that'll be nice. I'll do a little video. Um, they're gonna be at the Living Light Temple down south somewhere, and then at O'Loc. So that's it. Everything is wonderful and beautiful, and I'm just giving you a reminder to um, get some sunshine on your face. And tonight I'm doing a video with Renee on sprouting, and just to reinforce the importance of sprouting is that you can have an organic garden in your kitchen for pennies. I think that per handful. I mean, the, the sprouts in volume from the seeds to when they're sprouted go like 2,600 times in size in volume. So the teeniest bit of sprouts, which don't cost a lot of money, just give you so much salad that is rich in chlorophyll. It's rich in protein. It's the amino acids. Uh, it's rich in enzymes. It's a living food. So that means that's why we eat living food so that we can get the life force, the living energy from the food into our bodies. Living foods obviously are anything that if you soak them or plant them, they will sprout or grow. And that's really what we want in our bodies. We don't want dead stuff. We want to be what our food looks like, which is vibrant and colorful and living. So you'll notice a difference if you haven't tried it already, just a couple weeks to a month of eating living food will make such a difference. So I'm a huge proponent of raw food, clearly. Um, that being said, not all raw, raw foods are created equal. Obviously the things that are filled with tons of cashews and tons of oil and tons of salt or agave or coconut sugar are not the ideal. They're for treats. The things that are um, fresh and vibrant and most recently picked from the earth or from a tree is ideal. And that's it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we're just going to have a party here. And tonight is sprouting and tomorrow will be fruit day. And then Sunday will be farmer's market day. So cheers everybody. Get your greens on. Get your sunshine on if you can. And I will see you later.